Hello for followers and welcome back to the hunt for the Ender Dragon. And in today's episode we're going to be heading back to the Nether and I'm going to be trying to track down some blaze powder, a Nether wart, and a couple of other things like that. Um, so that's what our aim is today. I've got a couple of other things I want to do as well. Uh, first things first, let me take you over what I've done off camera. I did make some arrows and a new bow. I've made some stone picks for nether travel. Um, this is going to be used for something else. Uh, before we go there, I'm going to collect these eggs. How many eggs we got? Five eggs. Ooh, there's more. Ten eggs. Thank you, ladies. Your help is always appreciated in our hunt. There we go. Uh, I added a bigger wheat farm so that I can breed my cows more rapidly. So I built this, used some cobblestone walls, uh, fairly easy to do, uh, and just move that. And that's about it really in terms of that. So new arrows and bow, move the farm. I moved some of the junk out of here. Um, still not moved the enchantment table yet. I don't have the wood on me right now to recreate the bookshelves. So it's not too much of an issue. Um, I moved that farm obviously. So now I want to collect the diamonds that I left down here earlier with my pick. Now that it has fortune on it. And uh, now where's going to be the best way to get down here? Do I build a path for myself? Knowing me, probably not. So this should be fun. Now I did hear a skelly really close. It's right there. So we need to go all the way down to the very bottom I think he's gonna leave us alone uh, there they are right there we need to go all the way down to the very bottom of this ravine and that is gonna be a long way how did I get down here before I must have built a path for myself somewhere along the line but it's been such a long time I don't remember there's some gold down here too actually um, mmm this is not really a good place to descend, is it? But we'll use some gravel. Now, I've got to be careful with this, because I know what this is like. You can fall off this so easy. I don't think the fall would kill me, um, but I don't want to risk it. Because we are near lava. That's a bad way to come out. Let's come out right here. And I'm going to use the good old-fashioned torch trick. And that's going to spread, isn't it? Ugh. And let's dig out the fortune pick. How many did I get out of that? Two? That's that's good. And there was some more over here, wasn't there? Got to be careful of unwanted creatures around. How many did that give me? Nine? Is there any more? I Oh yes, there's some more over here. 20 diamonds. Now that gives me a good amount to work with actually. I couldn't really ask for much better than that because at the end of the day that gives me two for a, a sword. Um, then what else am I going to need? I'm not going to need a shovel or an axe. Um, I'm going to get my ladders out for when we come back down here I'll come back for the gold and stuff at a later time. For now, I want to get down to the nether. Um, where else? Where do I climb out from here? Uh, I guess right here, huh? Uh, let's put some cobble in. So that's going to give me two for a sword. And leaves me with 18. I could make a chest plate out of that. Oops. So we're going to need a chest plate, which is going to be, what, eight? Leggings, which is seven. And that, what is that? Uh, 15. So 17 and I would have 3 left, and I've got to stop doing that. Uh, seven, yeah, so I'd have 3 left, which I could spend on, I don't know, anything else really, I guess. If I could find one more, uh, maybe in the mine shaft when I go hunting through that, then we might be able to, at that point, here's my other ladder, I might be able to uh, get a pair of diamond boots going. Um, he's still around. So that would be my other primary aim. If I could get those going. A sword. Uh, that would just leave me with what? Iron helmet? Well, if it's a level 30 enchantment, I shouldn't miss it too much. 
that's going to be a big problem as well, getting the level of enchant I need to actually uh, succeed at this. Uh, so I may have to go hunting. We should earn quite a bit from the nether though today. Which we can actually use to our advantage uh, when we get around to doing that. And I'm going to be going through the mine shaft as well, so we'll be killing monsters from there. And if I really need XP badly, I won't build a grinder, but if I find a dungeon, I'll just kind of put like a fence gate on it with a stone sword, so that I just let monsters spawn out of it. But rather than building a full-blown trap, which I, I consider maybe not against the rules of the series, because there aren't any, but just in case, um, I can do that if I really feel the need to. So I've got the 20 diamonds over there. Um, do I want to bring an ender chest with me? No, I don't. I don't think we're going to need it because I'm going to go hunting for blazers and with the skeletons, not so much. Pigmen, not really. Um, I'm going to bring an extra sword, though. Um, don't really want pigmen. Um, ghasts would be a bow anyway. Magma cubes would be nice, but we can take them on with the sword, so we've got no problem there. I'm not going to need a water bucket with me. I'm not going to need you. And that's a thought. We can also mine nether quartz as well to get XP that way using this guy. And that would be another way of gaining XP fairly fast to get level 30s. Um, so, I think I've got everything. I don't want the axe either, actually. I want to keep the stone picks here. Now, if you remember from last episode, we actually didn't find... I'm going to keep those with me. I'm going to bring these as well. We didn't actually find a fortress. I went quickly looking, but I didn't spend too long uh, looking. Today's going to be more about actually finding one. Um, they spawn along the Z-axis, so... They'll leave anything here. Flint steel. And that's it. So that is something that... Um, uh, the world's loading in. That's something that we're going to need to think about. Uh, they spawn along the z-axis and we are currently following the z-axis so we should see one if we keep going and, and we just need to get to the right point on the x-axis so I'm gonna head what direction is this uh, south according to this uh, I don't think there is really any direction in another but we're gonna keep heading south I know that the portal is right behind me so if I keep going we've got this fairly nice flat area here probably shouldn't have brought all my food with me either, but oh, we can live with that. So as you can see, there's just a ton of quartz around that I could mine. And it's fairly safe in the nether, so I'd probably do it off cameras to not bore you guys too much. And I do have some torches. I want to um, keep seeing what I can see. And not go wandering off, really, and lose my portal. Because that would be the worst thing to happen at this point, would be losing my portal. So the portal's off that way. Um, if I follow the torches, I should remember this area. We're not too far away. Plus, I can just try and make my way to zero zero if all else fails. Worst staircase ever. Oh, I can use the nether rack. Yeah, there's a little staircase for ourselves right there. Nice flat area here. Oh man, is it lagging. I know why it's lagging. It's lagging because um, of the new chunks generating and it's terrible with recording as well. Ah, here we go. We've got a fortress. Excellent. So that was not too far away. You've just got to kind of keep going, I guess. Now, I'm not seeing any mobs here. I don't know how big this fortress is. But we should be alright. Feel a bit safer from gas fire now as well. And I did not bring any coal with me. So I'm looking for blazers, nether wart, and not really wither skeletons, oh, there's a blaze now. Now I do have a good amount of arrows on me, so what that means is I can hopefully pick them out from the air. This place is just littered with wither skeletons, isn't it? 
Well, I can pick these off with my bow, I guess. I think that's the end of that bow. But I've got a fully repaired one out of it. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I haven't. Let me see if I can take this guy on. There we are. Two shots from the bow is enough to kill them outright with an iron sword. Just be careful not to hit the pig man. Oh boy. I've not fought these a lot, to be honest. There we are. Now, before you get mad... Where's the blaze gone? There you are. Oh no, don't go over the edge. I don't want you over there. Can't get my lovely goodies. And my arrows are going to run out very rapidly if I'm not careful. Out of the way, dude. There's another guy right there. Why do they keep going off the edge like that? Or is that the same guy? I don't know anymore. They all keep going off the edge, and that's... It's not really what I want. Oh, more wither skellies. I don't want wither skellies. I don't know how much wither damage I would take on this difficulty, so... I don't want to really find out, if all possible. So this is the... end of the fortress this way. Alright, um... So the hunt for blazes is not going well. That guy just despawned. That's where we came from. Anything down this path, maybe? Trying to find blazes that are, to a degree, confined. Pigmen down there and a wither skelly. Got one. Oh man, lots of them now. Oh guy, don't go over the edge. Ow. And fire damage. He's gonna go down. That's got another blaze rod. I'm gonna have to take cover for a minute. Did I get that blaze rod? Yes I did. So we're not gonna need the well, we are going to need the rods themselves, actually, for a brewing stand. There's that guy right there. Fairly easy to take out. He's... He's confined. But he did not drop his rod. So that's a shame. Now there's that other guy. Can you go away yet? Oh boy. He might have dropped a gas tier, so I'm gonna head over there in a minute. Uh, these guys die? Maybe that's another one. He's gone. Dang it, why you go over the edge? Did he drop a tear? Oh, he did. Excellent. That's a couple more regen potions for me. Ah. Oh, he didn't drop. Didn't drop a blaze rod. See if I can collect some of these arrows back. Hopefully we can. So we still have not found nether warp. So that's something we need to track down as well. Here's one of these staircases, but it's not the right kind of... Oh, that's a blaze spawner. See if I could sneak past that. Oh man, there's two here. That would have been perfect for a dual blaze farm, but I'm not really looking for that. 
See if I can go down this route and see what this one presents for me. With the skeletons. There's that guy down there. I'm crazy about that. See if I can find some nether wart. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need enough of these blaze powders to make the eyes of ender. But I don't know how many a portal needs. My target was to get 32 blaze rods, if I blaze powder should I say. And we're going to need at least one more for the brewing stand. Does this go anywhere? No, it doesn't. Okay, well that's fine. Hmm. That's back towards the lava. That's back down that way is a regular skeleton. I'm hearing other skeletons attempting to pathfind. Hmm. So let's just take a chill for a minute. See what's kind of going on. I'll take that experience. Doesn't look like there's much here going on, really. Okay, so what does that label with? A gas tier, four blaze powder. doesn't actually go anywhere. So I think I've actually explored the entirety of this fortress and I've not found a wither skelly yet, but here's a group of blaze. So I'm trying to take them out from ranged combat if I can. I don't want to Risk, risk it too much. Oh man! There's a lot of blazers. I seen one of those magma dudes as well. You know what? Let's let's do this. Now, what I want to know is, will they path to me? I'm down to five arrows, but two more blaze rods. I need to heal some hearts anyway, so this is not a waste. Ah, uh, they were guys. Come here, Magma Cube. That's it, Magma Dude. We want you. Come on, drop some Magma Cream. Oh, darn it. The chances of actually getting magma cream are going to be fairly low. Uh, we've got eight blaze powder now. I would like some strength potions as well. Here we are. Ah, this is where we were before, so that gives me 10. I think 32 will be enough. And then on top of that, one blaze rod. I mean, you're just a regular skeleton. You don't even really belong here. 
Anybody cooking out here? Nope, just the pig men. That's not my arrow. How many arrows have we got left? Eight. Not great. And still no nether wart. Now that's quite costly because I don't think this fortress has any. It's quite a small one so we may have to go venturing deeper into the nether to find what we're really looking for. So with a skeleton and a blaze spawner down that way, I'm going to block him from pathing to me for the time being. I've got some cobble. Oh no! Come on, live through it. Phew. Oh, here's a staircase. We've not been here before. Man, this place. This is so easy to get lost or ambushed. Let's back out into natural nether. So we don't want that. Anything over here? No. More pigmen. Oh boy, one of these guys. Just what I need. I'm getting some coal out of it though. I'm hearing more of them though. Whether whether skeletons are a tough mob, I know that. Nothing this way. So how are we doing again? Ten blaze powder. I can always come back here. It's it's not a problem to come back. It's it's probably going to happen anyway because I'm going to need to come back here for experience. There's the stairwell that brought us here. Ah, another warp. Fantastic. Just what I'm looking for. Is there nobody lurking? Oh, two, look at that. Two warp gardens together. Excellent. Yeah, I did bring another pick. I was going to say, I hope I wasn't stupid about that. So we've got more nether wart here. I'm going to leave this stuff behind in case I manage to uh, die on the way back and end up without any. There's still another chance that I can get some. So now it's just a case of finding blazers, I guess, now, isn't it, really? I have the nether wart I came for. Right. That's a dead end. So, I think at this point I would like just one more blaze rod for the actual brewing stand. And I think I see my opportunity right there. And I hear a big magma dude as well. Oh, I'm getting withered. Oh no. Tired of safety.